Alright guys, it's the middle of the night, a Saturday night. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the axes in Blender correctly, okay? I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks. I bet you didn't know this shit, okay? I was shocked to find out the other day how many people actually don't know how to use this stuff, okay? This is a game changer. Let me show you something. So, all of you guys already know, when you have something in Blender, like this object, let's we're gonna add a cylinder just because it's easier to, to use as an example, right? We got a cylinder right here. Now we can move it with G along the X axis. Okay, so G, X, you move along the X axis. You can move along the Y axis. You can move along the Z axis and you can scale it. You can rotate it around all these axes, all this basic stuff. Everybody knows this, all right? If you don't, well, now you know, okay? Now, what, what a lot of people don't actually know is that you can also use something called local axes, okay? And let me show you what I mean, what I mean by that with this cylinder right here, okay? So when you first add the cylinder, or maybe look, we can add a cone because it's gonna be a little bit more precise. When you add a cone, it's an object which is just pointing upwards, right? It's like we have this little spike which is pointing upwards. And when we move it up along the z-axis, it just slides right upwards where the arrow is pointing, okay? Now, if we rotate this uh, uh, cone right here, okay, let's say we rotate it by a little bit, something like 45 degrees like this, okay? Now we changed the orientation of the object so we can look up here in the item menu over here and now the object here has some rotation okay so 45 degrees this is this is a property of the object okay now this is not going to change bear in mind if you change this in edit mode if you rotate in edit mode it's not going to change okay I'll show you if, if in edit mode we rotate this thing on the y axis and then we go to object mode the rotation stays the same so that doesn't affect that's not a property of the object itself you're just reshaping the mesh basically right so you have to rotate this in object mode and when you rotate this in object mode now you have some rotation uh, on the object right 52 degrees and now you can use local axes okay so now if we press g to move it and then we press z to move it along the z axis and then we press z again okay so we double press z if we do that twice now it's going to move in the direction in which the little arrow is facing, right? It's, it has local axes. Because the object has rotation to it, the whole uh, axes around the object change. Like you can imagine a local world just for that object. That changed in itself, right? So now you can move this object along different axes, right? We can also move it along the local y, uh, x axis, right? Like this. Okay, so we can slide it in certain directions. So for example, this is very useful. If you have a plane or something, and it has a little bit of rotation or something. And then maybe you have another little object over here, something like this, right? Okay, this one also has the same rotation as a plane now. And now we can move this just along this surface, right? Just because we can use the local axes, right? Just double press any axis and it's gonna follow those axes. It's gonna keep the same rotation, but it's just gonna slide in that exact direction, right? And now you can also scale stuff in the same direction. You can also rotate stuff around the local Z axis. Just play around with this a little bit, okay? So you just double press some axes. Just make sure you have it in, um, in just make sure that you rotated the object in object mode and not in edit mode, right? Because then this is going to work. Now, sometimes it's going to happen that you have some objects which you rotated in uh, edit mode like this. And then it, they don't have any rotation uh, on the, in, in the, as an object, right? So it's still on zero. And I don't know how to correct this. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky one in Blender because it's it, there's no way to really tell exactly how this is uh, rotated. Now, there are some ways that you can figure this out manually using constraints or something like that. We can talk. We can do this in another video if you guys want. I think I even made a video with how to align stuff for the review already. Actually, now that I remember, I forgot that I made that video. So you can check the link for that in the description. You can align objects uh, with if you use like constraints and like empties and stuff like that. I don't know if the same applies to edit mode, but anyway, I'm gonna show you another technique about axes when it comes to this type of stuff, okay? This is something that is even next level to what we just talked about, all right? So look, let's say we have, we have a cube right here, okay? Or let's 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 stick to a cone just because it's pointing, like it's like an arrow, right? We have this cone over here, and now even cooler, okay, look, let's start simple. We have the cone right here. It's just flat with the surface, it's just in the middle, right? It's just pointing upwards. This cone, we can move it simultaneously on two axes, okay? So you can press G to move this object, and then you press Shift Z, all right? Now you're moving it along two axes. So you're moving it, the reason we press Shift Z is because we're moving it on all the axes excluding the Z axis. That's how you press Shift Z, right? So now we're moving it on the Y and the X axis because those are all the axes apart from the Z axis, right? So anywhere we move this now, it's only moving on the flat plane, right? Like this. 
anywhere we move it, we can move it freely on the surface, but it's not going to move up or down or anything like that. Also, as you would imagine, you can do this with any other axes, right? You can do, or with any other axis, you can press G and then shift X, for example. And now you're just moving it along this kind of vertical plane, right? You can just move it this way. And this stuff is very useful when you're when you're trying to do something like, for example, uh, for example, you have something over here, you have an object over here on the side of your tank or something. Well, this is, uh, yeah, let's say we, you just want to place this somewhere, but you want to make sure you don't uh, move it to somewhere else. I don't know. There's many different ways that you can apply this type of stuff, right? So just play around with it a little bit. It's going to come in handy. Just keep in mind that this tool exists, right? That's the that's the trick to being good at, good at Blender. You just know a bunch of shit, and then sometimes you can encounter a certain situation, and you're like, oh, yeah, this is what Aryan told me a year ago, that you can use this double axis shit, right? I'll show you something even cooler. Okay, so look, when we're in a, when we're when we have a cone over here, okay, remember how in the beginning we had local axes, right? So when you rotate something, you can use a local axis, local z axis and shit. Now you can move it along a different line. Check this out. You can take that a step further. Okay, so we have this cone right here, which has a little bit of rotation and object mode. We can move it along the z axis, but we can also move it along two local axes at the same time, right? So now it's pointing in this specific direction. We can also press G, and then we can press Shift Z, and Shift Z again, okay? So Shift Z, double press that, and now you're just moving it along the plane uh, at which it's rotated, right? If you see what I mean, I don't know how to express this shit correctly. This is some vector math uh, the expressions that I would have to use here, but I don't know. You, you understand what I'm trying to say because there's a video showing you what's going on right now, right? So this stuff is very useful if you have a plane or something, if you have a surface. This this happens to me all the time, right? You have a surface like this and something like that, you know? And then you have another object. Let's say we have something like this, right? Something like this, and then we can separate this to new object, okay? So now this object has the same rotation as the one before. It has these local Z axes and all this different shit, right? Now, this is under a really weird specific angle, like how are you going to be able to simulate this? But what we can do, because now we know how to use double axes, we can just press Z, uh, or we can just press G to move it, and then Shift Z and Shift Z again, double axes. And now anywhere you move it, it's still going to stay along this exact, uh, uh, it's going to stay on the surface of this plane that we have, right? Even though it's a really weird angle. You can just move it anywhere along the surface. Isn't that fucking crazy, right? This is the equivalent of aligning your view with the plane that we have with the surface in question here and just moving it freely, okay? Because look, if you have something in top view over here in the middle of the world, like this cube, and we're in top orthographic projection view, right? And if we move stuff around, it's only going to move left or right. It can't move up, right? See, it still stays exactly in the middle of the world if we move it from top view. Right, it can't move anywhere up. So when we look at something from a orthographic projection, or if we just line our view with something, we can only move it along, you know, the surface that we're facing at perfectly. Right, you can't move it closer and further away if you're just really moving something. So if we align our view with this plane over here, we can just freely move this object along that plane, right? And we can actually do that. We can align our view with the plane. It's actually very easy. Now, ideally, you want to have a flat surface for this, which is not curved or something, because you can only align your view with like a specific face, right? So in this case, we select this face in edit mode, okay? And then we press shift and seven on the number pad, okay? You press shift and seven on the number pad, and that's going to align your view with that specific face that you just uh, that you just uh, selected in edit mode, right? And then since we have this on top of that face, now we can just move this object along that face anywhere we want to, right? And that's pretty easy. I'll show you an example where this might come in handy. Let's take a look at our little tank over here. By the way, guys, I just finished making this tank. We're going to have a video coming out soon. I'm going to show you the whole process of how I made this. So stick around. This is going to be fucking crazy. This was a really good, uh, really good uh, video that I have for you guys. But let's see, we have this axe on the side here. This isn't even an axe. This is like a hammer for the tracks. I don't know what the hell they use this thing for. Okay. And let's say I don't want this axe to be here. I want it to be up here somewhere, okay? I just want to shift it along that uh, side arm or somewhere, okay? So I, if, if I select this in object mode or in edit mode, right? I, can, I have to select all this because it's part of the same object. It would be pretty hard. I have to move it over here. Then I have to lift it up and I have to maybe rotate it again. I have to line everything, you know? It's very manual. But what I can do is I can take a, a, a face 
from this surface below. Okay, in edit mode, I can take this uh, object into edit mode. Then I can press Shift Seven on the number pad. Okay, and that aligns my view perfectly with that face, with that surface down there. Okay, and now I can go back to object mode, select the tools, open the tools in edit mode, and then I select this tool over here. Now anywhere I move that it stays exactly on the surface of that tank, right? It, I can also move it up here if I want to, but over here it's going to start flying somewhere. But anyway, it just keeps the same angle, it's the same alignment with this face because our view was aligned with this uh, surface as we were moving this stuff around, okay? That's all I have for you guys in this tutorial, okay? How to use axes. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Think about how you can use this tool because this is some next level shit, guys. If you want to see more tips like this, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you sure you join the Discord. We have 500 people, guys, talking about 3D modeling all the time. We got some challenges coming up soon. We just finished the last challenge. You should have seen it, guys. This is fucking crazy. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.